Hello friends, welcome to Environmental Science under Unit 2 Biodiversity and its Conservation. In this video, we are going to see the endemic and endangered plants and animal species in India, in situ and ex situ conservation of biodiversity. Introduction to endemic and endangered species. To study the endemic and endangered species of India, it is important to understand the wide variety of plants and animal species that are found in the country. Of the well-known species, there are several species which are endangered by the activity of human beings. The endangered species in the country are categorized as the vulnerable species, rare species, indeterminate species and threatened species. A living plant or any species which becomes endangered when its population declines or decreases continuously in the recent years and as well as if there is a shrinking of its geographic range. So these two conditions make a species endangered. And those species found only in India are called endemic or those species found only in a particular country are called endemic or restricted to our country. Some of these may have a very localized distribution and they are considered as highly endemic. So the highly endemic species are found only in a very particular uh, locality, very particular restricted locality. So they are known as highly endemic species and uh, several plant and animal species in the country are now found only in a few protected areas. The important endangered animals are the tiger, the elephant, the rhino and other animals which we are going to see in this video. And the less well-known major mammals restricted to a single area include the Indian wild ass, the hungal or Kashmir stag, the golden langur, the pygmy hog and a host of others. And there are also endangered uh, bird species uh, such as the Siberian crane, the Great Indian bustard, the florican and uh, several other birds of prey. The vultures which are very common uh, 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 decades ago have now suddenly disappeared and are highly threatened now. And uh, several species of reptiles and amphibia and many invertebrates are also threatened, including a large number of species that live in the coral reefs. Many plant species are now increasingly threatened due to changes in their habitats due to the induced human activities. So human activities make uh, the uh, disturbing the habitats of uh, plants. So apart from uh, major trees, the shrubs and climbers that are extremely habitat specific that is they um, grow only in a particular um, habitat that is known as habitat specific and they are also due to the activity of uh, human beings now become endangered and there are uh, thousands of small herbs which are greatly threatened by the habit loss and several other uh, special kinds of uh, plants known as the orchids or yet another group of plants that are also under threat. The Parliament of India enacted the Wildlife Protection Act in the year 1972 to protect the wild flora and fauna, that is wild plants and animals. And each plant and animal species plays a definite role. They have a definite role in their habitat or in their environment or in the ecosystem. And they are a part of the food chain. And they um, do the balancing activity. They are actually balancing the uh, balancing. They do. They are doing the balancing function of the ecosystem. So, if there is any uh, disturbance or if there is any loss of the endangered species, it will damage our ecosystem, resulting in the loss of essential requirements for human beings like the medicines, food and other important things which we obtain from the ecosystem. Now let us see the endangered plant species in India. The first one, the Amatotaxis assamica known as Assam catkin yew. It is an endangered species found only in Arunachal Pradesh. So the low rates of um, reproduction have um, made this plant an endangered one. And Lex cassiana, uh, known as um, Shillan sorry, found in uh, Shillang. Uh, it's a shrub found only in Shillang, uh, peak in Meghalaya. And the 
Dyspyros celibica, known as the ebony tree. It is found in Karnataka. It is well known for its dark and high quality wood. So, uh, endangered, it is endangered due to the cutting of this tree for its valuable timber. Next one, the Tyrocorpus sandalinus, known as the red sandalwood tree, uh, found in the Asian Ghats, a rare form of sandalwood uh, found only in the uh, south, southeastern India. It is well known for its medicinal properties and it is endangered due to the logging, uh, cutting and loss of its habitat. And Chlorophytum uh, tuberosum, known as musli plant um, of, uh, from Tamil Nadu and found only in the interiors of Africa and India. It is a well-known Ayurvedic medicine, well-known for its Ayurvedic medicine and indiscriminate harvesting has led to um, the endangered status of this plant. And the Chlorophytum malabaricum, known as Malabar lily uh, from Tamil Nadu, is threatened as species. Next, the Akinju dendron pinnatum, known as the Malabar mahogany, uh, from uh, Kerala, found in Kerala, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. It is well known for its wood, and um, due to the cutting of the wood, uh, the, it leads to the low reproduction, and also the logging, exploitation, and the destruction of its habitat have led to the um, endangered status of this plant. And then, uh, Akino Daphne lausoni uh, from Kerala. It is harvested extensively for its medicinal properties. Uh, it is endemic and endangered due to its uh, habitat loss. And the lotus carniculatus, known as bird's foot, found in Gujarat, it is also a rare species. And the acacia planifrons, known as umbrella tree from Tamil Nadu, is also a rare species. The next endangered and endemic animal species in India. First, the Hangul deer. It's a rare species found only in Kashmir. And then the Indian wild ass. It's a very special rare species, endemic to the little run of Kutch. And the Nilagiri thar. The Nilagiri thar is a single species found in the Nilgiris and Anamalai hills of South India. Then the rhinoceros are now restricted to only Assam. And the wild buffalo is restricted to the Tarai region and the elephant is distributed in the northeastern and uh, southern states of India. It is uh, also threatened by habitat loss and poaching for its valuable ivory. Uh, next, the tiger. It is uh, in the recent past, uh, the tiger has been extensively killed for the medicinal properties of its uh, bones. And the Asiatic lion is now found only in the gir forests of Gujarat. Then the snow leopard, which is a very rare and uh, rare species, and it is supposed for its beautiful skin. And the Himalayan wolf is also a threatened species. And the rare black Nilgiri langur lives in the southern western gods and Nilagiri and animalize. And the great Indian bustard is the most threatened bird species. The common garden lizard and fan throated lizard chameleon and the common monitor and the water monitor are threatened due to uh, trade for its um, uh, the skins, uh, trade for the reptile skins. And the star tortoise and the travancore tortoise are now have become a rare species. And the crocodile is the largest reptile in India, which is uh, poached for its valuable skin. And the gharial, uh, that is the fish eating crocodiles, uh, is endemic to India and is highly threatened now. The marine turtles are now endangered species and there are many endangered uh, fish uh, such as uh, mashir and other uh, such species and many species of um, marine animals such as the whales, uh, sharks and dolphins that live, live in the Indian Ocean are now being threatened by extinction due to the fishing activity in the deep sea. Now, uh, in situ conservation of biodiversity. Uh, conserving a species in its own environment by creating a national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. In other words, uh, conservation of your species by protecting its habitat along with all other species, along with all other species in the environment. 
in their own environment is known as in situ conservation. I repeat, a conservation of a species by protecting its habitat along with all other species in their own environment is known as the in situ conservation. And um, generally, the species cannot be protected individually because they are all interdependent and interrelated on each other. Hence, the whole ecosystem must be protected in in situ condition. And there are 106 national parks and 551 wildlife sanctuaries in India, according to the National Wildlife Database, May 2022. The Great Himalayan National Park is the largest sanctuary and home for beautiful snow leopard. And the Dachigam uh, Sanctuary is the only place where the rare hangul or cosmic stag is found. And the Kasiranga National Park is the most famous, which has elephants, wild buffalo, gore, wild boar, swamp deer, and hog deer in large numbers, as well as the tigers and leopards. Its uh, bird life is extremely rich, and it includes the ducks, geese, pelicans, and storks. And next, the Monos Sanctuary. It includes the tarry species and uh, the rare golden langur and the very rare pygmy hog, which are the smallest wild boar in the world. The Barakpur is one of the most famous water bird sanctuaries in the world. Uh, here, thousands of ducks, geese, herons, and other wading birds can be seen in the Barakpur. And this is the only home for the very rare Siberian crane, which migrates to India every winter during the winter season. And the Thor Desert National Park. Here, the large number of black bug and the nilgai and the chinkara can be seen here. And the great Indian bustard lives in these arid lands of the Desert National Park. And then the Randhambore was the most well known sanctuary for observing the tigers. And the great and the little run of Kutch have been uh, made into sanctuaries to protect the a very rare uh, wild ass, the flamingo, the star tortoise, and the desert fox. The Gir Sanctuary in Gujarat uh, protects the last population of the uh, majestic Asiatic lion. And the sanctuaries of the Western Gods are very important. And these uh, sanctuaries of the Western Gods include uh, the highly threatened species like the Malabar giant squirrel, the flying squirrel, and a variety of hill birds, several uh, species of amphibians, reptiles, and uh, insects. It is a very important um, region in the uh, southern region of uh, India. And uh, the sanctuaries such as the Bhim Shankar and the Koyana. Uh, Chandoli and the Ratnagiri uh, preserve the rich flora in uh, Maharashtra. Uh, the, the Bandipur, Badra, Dandeli, Nagarhol are um, situated in the Karnataka and the Ravikulam, Parambikulam, Periyar, Silent Valley are uh, situated in Kerala. And in the Nilkiri Hills, the rich forest sanctuaries protect the Indian elephants in South India. Example, uh, the Bandipur, the Mudumalai, Vayanad, and Badra sanctuaries. And the two important sanctuaries meant for the preservation of coastal ecosystems are the Chilka Lake and Point, Cal Point Calimar. And the Sundarbans, the Sundarbans protect the largest mangrove delta in India. And the Marine National Park in Gujarat protect the coral reefs. Uh, next one, the Project Tiger and the Project Elephant. The Project Tiger, the Project Tiger was uh, launched by the Government of India with the support of uh, WWF World Wildlife Fund International in the year 1973, and was the first um, initiative aimed at protecting tigers and its habitats. Under this Project Tiger, there are 53 tiger reserves in India, according to uh, 2021 data and the project elephant it was launched by the government of india in the year 1992 as a centrally sponsored scheme with the following objectives so the objectives of project elephant are to protect elephants their habitat habitat and corridors and to address the issue of man animal conflict and for the welfare of the captive elephants and now the crocodile conservation uh, crocodiles have been threatened 
as their skin is used for making leather articles and um, the crocodile breeding and conservation program was initiated in the year 1975 to protect the remaining uh, population of the crocodilians in their natural habitat by creating breeding centers all over India. Now, a ex situ conservation of biodiversity. When an endangered species is close to extinction, the species is conserved outside its natural habitat. That is, the species is taken from the natural habitat and kept outside its natural habitat in a carefully controlled situation, such as the botanical garden, zoological parks, and gene banks, where there is uh, the expertise available to protect and to multiply the species under uh, artificially managed conditions. So this is known as ex situ conservation of biodiversity. And the gametes of the threatened species can be preserved by means of the cryopreservation techniques and eggs can be fertilized by in vitro technique and plants can be propagated by the tissue culture techniques. So these are the uh, methods available for ex situ conservation of biodiversity. So far in this video, under biodiversity and its conservation, we have seen a brief account of the endemic and endangered species, endemic and endangered plant species and animal species in India, and in situ and ex situ conservation of biodiversity. Thank you.